So here's a look at Sony's newest ebook reader, the uh, PRS 900. It's got uh, wireless. This is actually uh, a look at their online store homepage. You can run searches up there for titles and such. Actually, I don't get a very good signal here. I only get one bar, so I'm not going to go into this very much. We'll go into that on a different video. Let's go to the home screen. I'll show you all the other stuff we got here. Actually, I'll show you the outside first. Comes with this nice cover here. Um, you can actually take it off. It uh, peels off the back right here. It's got these little slots. And when you get the device, it actually does not have the back on or the battery installed. It looks like this. So you, first thing you do is you stick in the battery and charge it up. Mine actually had a little bit of charge left, so I got to play around with it first. You stick this back on right here. And this is where the uh, memory cards go, actually. It's got the uh, Memory Strict Pro, Pro Duo slot and SD card slot. That's what holds the back on right there once that's on. Um, it also comes with a really nice Case Logic uh, hardcover case or a travel case. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. I thought on the Sony website it was just this soft sleeve, but it's actually um, really durable. Nice to case, probably like a $40 case. It's got suede inside and stick your reader right in here. The only problem is, is you have to pull the reader up to get the stylus out. But that's a really nice extra. It also comes with an AC adapter, unlike the uh, previous ones. So let me show you some of its features here. This is the home screen. You uh, can go into settings. Um, there's a lot of different setups here. You get your time zones and formatting. You can uh, choose to have the wireless on standby. Actually, I'm going to turn it off because it saves the power a little bit. That's uh, down here. We got down here the uh, wireless switch reset, wireless reset, then there's your AC adapter and mini USB cable hole. It's got headphone jack, it does not have external speakers but it does have the headphone jack and there's a volume for it. And then up here we have the, uh, it's just the power switch and the stylus uh, slips in right there. Actually I'll pull the stylus out. Alright, so you got different menus for languages and all that such. One thing I did notice while using this is the regular dictionary was missing some words, like the uh, this American dictionary. If you typed on an adverb or a few words, like uh, plurals even, some of them it didn't have. It didn't have eyes, so it was a little strange. So I went in and changed it to the English dictionary, and that works a lot better. It's got a lot more definitions in there. Don't have any problems. So let's go back to the home here. can also obviously play you got pictures and you can play music and stuff like that in the applications got all kinds of uh, you do your handwriting here's a couple of the sample ones just a couple of things you can do with the uh, on-screen keyboard or the on-screen note-taking features let's go back here and I'll show you a book one of the newest features on this one is it's got a uh, margin crop feature so see how it's got this big huge wide margin this is actually a free ebook I downloaded I think from the publisher uh, so it's in PDF format it's uh, Raising Atlantis so you come in here oops wrong button come in here here's the uh, margin crop deal boom still got a little bit but I mean that's a good way to maintain the formatting and get rid of that big white spot around there because with PDFs, a lot of times, you uh, if you increase the font size, it reflows it, and you'll get some weird formatting sometimes. See, it took the name from the right upper corner and stuck it down here, and then it's got this huge white spot. So actually, the uh, that margin feature really helps that a lot, because on small size is the uh, standard default size of the PDF. All right, a couple other things here. Uh, you got the two column layout. Let's go to the. So here your books are organized. You can see the pictures of them. You can also choose to just see the list that way, kind of like seeing the pictures. 
and you can sort it, uh, there's obviously those different ways to sort it there, you had the date, title, author, latest read, you can also search by, you know, keywords, um, there's deleting, um, let's go into a book here, uh, Dan Brown, so here it is on medium font, I typically use the medium font myself because I don't have to use my glasses, but here's a look at it on small one thing I noticed about this 900 is the the text is a lot more defined it's a lot more crisp than in the the 600 uh, it does have 16 sports 16 shades of grayscale as opposed to the 8 that the others do so that must make a difference it's definitely easier to read let's go here even on the uh, super small text size there's it's still really easy to read I zoom in there I don't know if the focus is gonna go nope piece of junk camera but uh, yeah so let's go ahead and show you the another cool feature with this one is you can go in do two page view so it shows it like that one thing that I noticed that I really like about using this uh, this orientation on the older models it would have this like grayed out bottom part and the top where the overlap part of the page was but this one it doesn't do that at all it just keeps it uh, everything as you see it here turn the page and just keeps right on like that even without the uh, two page layout Oops, wrong button. go in one page view so it's actually a lot nicer than the last one because the or the uh, the um, 300 and 600 they have this like grayed out area right here where the text overlaps. So let's see here it says American and the Egyptian obelisk. You go to the next page and it just has it up there. It's not grayed out, so everything looks a little bit better. It's much more readable in the uh, in this mode. Here's another thing: it shows you what part of the page it's on, right down here. So it shows the top right there. And let's go back. And obviously, just like the uh, PR600, you can do all the on-page note-taking. It has all the same features as that. Dear highlighting and underlining and that stuff. Stuff. That's the highlight button right there. You just drag it along. You know what? Let's go in get higher text size so you can see it on the camera a little better. Go to medium. I like medium. So another thing about this, uh, the 900 is it's a little bit bigger than the 600. It's actually a little bit thicker to, I think probably for that nice battery. The battery is the longest rated battery on of any ebook reader currently. It's rated for 12,000 pages which is very good. Most are about, you know, 68,000. So that's a, that's a nice uh, upgrade too. So the 600 actually is just about an inch shorter. It comes up to about a little less than an inch shorter, a little more than an inch shorter. It's about right there. So it's a little bit bigger. But it's about the same width. It's just a little bit wider. And back to the notes, you can see, you can just write it right on the screen. Let's see here. I, I use this all the time because it's really a nice feature to have. If you need to do any editing and stuff like that, go ahead and I like. And again, that'll save that as a note. You can even export this to your computer. If you want to add a bookmark to your page, double click right there, or double tap. Get your page bookmarked. Another thing, to use the dictionary, you just double tap a word. Pops it up right down there. And holy cow, we're almost at 10 minutes already. I think I will call this a video done. I'm going to be posting another one specifically for PDFs, um, magnas, all that kind of stuff. So um, check back soon. I'll have that one up.